I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth, and our mouth shall so proclaim your praise. praise. Glory, Glory to the Father, the, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. As, As it was, was in the beginning, the is now, now, and will be forever. Amen. 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 O God, be merciful to us and bless us. Show us the light of your countenance and come to us. Let your ways be known upon us, your saving health among all nations. Let the people praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For you judge the peoples with equity and guide all the nations upon the earth. Let the people praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has brought forth its increase. May God, our own God, bless us. O oh God, give us your blessing. May all the ends of the earth stand in awe of you. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the righteous are in the hand of God, and no torment will ever touch them. In the eyes of the foolish, they seem to have died, and their departure was thought to be a disaster. And they're going from us to be their destruction, but they are at peace. For though in the sight of others they were punished, their hope is full of immortality. Having been disciplined a little, they will receive great good, because God tested them and found them worthy of himself. Like gold in the furnace, he tried them, and like a sacrificial burnt offering, he accepted them. In the time of their visitation, they will shine forth and will run like sparks through the stubble. They will govern nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord will reign over them forever. Those who trust in him will understand truth, and the faithful will abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are upon his holy ones, and he watches over his elect. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to Thanks God. Be to God. God. Let us read responsively <clears throat> Psalm 130. Out of the depths have I called to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears consider well the voice of my supplication. If you, if you Lord, were to note what is done amiss, O Lord, and who could stand? For there is forgiveness with you, therefore you shall be feared. I wait, wait for you, Lord. My soul awaits you. Always for you. For you. In your Lord word is my hope. my hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than centuries for the morning. More than centuries for the morning. Oh, Israel, oh, Israel wait, for wait for the Lord. For with the Lord, the Lord there is mercy. There is plenteous redemption with the Lord. He shall redeem Israel from all their sins. Glory to the Glory Father, to the, Father the Son, and the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit. Yeah. as it was, as it in, the was in the beginning, is, is now, now, and will, will be, will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from St. Paul's first letter to the Christians in Thessalonica. We do not want you to be uninformed, brothers and sisters, about those who have died, so that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have died. For this we declare to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will by no means precede those who have died. For the Lord himself, with a cry of command, with the archangel's call and with the sound of God's trumpet, will descend from heaven and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up in the clouds together with them to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today's teaching, prepared by Alan, is for all the faithful departed. In the New Testament, the word saints is used to describe the entire membership of the Christian community. And in the College for All Saints Day, the word elect is used in a similar sense, 
From very early times, however, the word saint came to be applied primarily to persons of heroic sanctity whose deeds were recalled with gratitude by later generations, kind of like St. Stephen, the first martyr. Beginning in the 10th century, it became customary to set aside another day as a sort of extension of all saints on which the church remembered the vast body of faithful who, though no less members of the company of the redeemed are unknown in the wider fellowship of the church. It was also a day for particular remembrance of family members and friends. In the Celtic culture, this is seen as one of the times and locations where the veil between the world and the next grows very thin. From this understanding has arisen the festivities of Halloween and the three days observances of All Hallows Eve, October 31st, All Saints Day, November 1st, and All Souls Day, November 2nd, today. In the Mexican culture, this is called the Dia de los Muertos, the time when the cemeteries are cleaned and decorated with people sitting with the graves of their ancestors, playing music, celebrating, eating snacks, and remembering them. The observance of All Souls Day was abolished at the Reformation because of the abuses connected with masses for the dead. A renewed understanding of its meaning has led to a widespread acceptance of this commemoration among Anglicans and to its inclusion as an optional observance in the calendar of the Episcopal Church. So today is All Souls Day. Lord have mercy. Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord have mercy. Our Father who art in heaven, heaven. hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. O God, the maker and redeemer of all believers, grant to the faithful departed the unsearchable benefits of the passion of your son, that on the day of his appearing, they may be manifested as your children. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Siblings, God commands us through Jesus Christ to love one another. In baptism, we promise to seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving our neighbors as ourselves, to strive for justice and peace, and to respect the dignity of every human being. Let us now honor our vows and let us pray for our nation, for wise and just leaders, and for the needs of others throughout our country and the whole world. We pray for blessings on all peacemakers, leaders who value peace, and on everyone who promotes nonviolent solutions to conflict. We pray for a speedy end to all violence and warfare around the world, especially in Ukraine. God of love and your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for the strength of heart and mind to look beyond ourselves and address the needs of our siblings throughout the world, for the rural and urban poor, for the rebuilding of our communities, and for an end to the cycles of violence that threaten our future. God of love and your mercy. We pray for all nations that they may live in unity, peace, and concord, and that all people may know justice and enjoy the perfect freedom that only God can give. God of love and your mercy. We commend our nation to the Lord's care. Grant to Joseph, our president, Kathy, our governor, the members of our federal, state, and local legislatures and courts, and those who are running for office, and all in authority, wisdom, and strength to know and to do the Lord's will. Fill them with the love of truth and righteousness and make them ever mindful of their calling to serve the people of this land. God of love and your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for the church militant around the world that it may be an instrument of your healing love. We pray especially for Justin of Canterbury, Michael, our presiding bishop, Larry, our bishop, Lauren, our rector, and Kurt, our rector emeritus. God of love and your mercy. Hear our prayer. 
We pray that the Holy Spirit may embrace the most vulnerable members of our society. We pray also for an end to the growing disparity between the rich and the poor, and for the grace and courage to strive for economic justice. God of love, in your mercy. We pray for an end to prejudice throughout our country and the world, that we will respect all people as precious children of God, and that discrimination based on ethnic, religious, and gender differences will be forever banished from our hearts, our society, and our laws. God of love and your mercy. We pray for a reverence of creation, (laughs) that we have the tools and the will to conserve it, that we will use its resources for the service of others, and we will become better stewards of all that has been entrusted to us. God of love in your mercy. Hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for all immigrants, refugees, and pilgrims from around the world, that they may be treated with fairness, dignity, and respect. God of love in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for all prisoners and captives, that a spirit of forgiveness may replace vengeance and retribution, and that we, with all the destitute, lonely, and oppressed, may be restored to the fullness of God's grace. God of love and your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for all children and families, and particularly for the orphaned, neglected, and abused, and those who live in fear of violence or disease, that they may be relieved and protected. God of love in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Bless our Lord, physicians, nurses, first responders, and all others who minister to the suffering, granting them wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience. We pray especially for Dr. Elizabeth Engelman, Dr. Dan Griffin, Dr. Esther E. Knapp, Dr. Rachel Simpson, Kat Bates, Norena Guerrera, Karen Liu, Eva Longmeyer. Brenda Marshall, Susan Dietz Massingill, and those responding to natural and human made disasters. God of love and your mercy. Your honor. We pray for the sick, the aged, and infirmed, remembering especially Hank, Peter, Bob, Mark, Pam, MB, Marion, Clay, Hi, Frank, Mark. Michael, Kimberly, Tina, Carol, Sue D, Todd, Einstein, Danny M, Pamela, Nat and Nancy, Jude, Sue B, Elsie, Sue M, Sally, M C, David, Jerry, Bruce, Pearl, Katie, the people of Ukraine those suffering from natural and human-made disasters, and those injured due to gun violence, and all affected by COVID-19. God of love and your mercy. Hear our our prayer. We commend to you, O Lord, all who have died, remembering especially today Carol Fielding and Karen Lagerbach, those who have perished in the war in Ukraine, those who have died because of natural and human-made disasters, especially those who died in the stampede in Korea and the bridge collapse in India, those killed because of gun violence, the millions worldwide who have died of COVID-19, and all those whom we remember today in the stillness of our hearts. May they rest in peace. God of love in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Almighty God, you have promised to hear what we ask in the name of your son. Accept and fulfill our petitions, we pray, not as we ask in our ignorance, nor as we deserve in our sinfulness, but as you know and love us in your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the light of God illuminate our hearts and our souls. May the flame of Christ kindle love in us. May the fire of the Spirit free us to live this day, tonight, and forever. Amen. Amen.